put this in the street view, and now you can see, is there a relationship? Now you can see the roads. Oh, yeah. That's nice. You see that? In the past, we just would overlay things like yeah. Yeah. Like overheads. <laughs> but now you can kind of take a look at it. That's nice. The watershed. Yeah, so but if you want to know, click on the query point. Uh -huh. okay. And then click yeah. in your watershed. You're in the Upper Chesapeake in the Gunpowder Patapsco, Lock Raven. Yeah. That's the classification of your watershed. I wanted to look at um, the first of the polygon, right? Yeah. Um, first, go, wait, go to wait. the Layers tab okay. and check land cover. Okay. I mean, you can leave watershed boundaries, but it's not that interesting. Okay, so now, oh, oh land cover. It's hard with the tracker. You can X that out, too. Yeah. So now you have the query polygon. Go ahead and click in this watershed right here that you've already Actually, delimited. Wait, so I need to click on that. And then yeah. use watershed. And now it's telling you the land cover that's in that watershed. Okay. So also if you click on the arrow, yeah. it kind of gets you out of the query polygon oh. <laughs> mode. Oh. And it's okay. easier. It'll be easier because every time you click on the map, it'll want to query a polygon. Oh, I see. Okay. Yeah. 